Zach Evans is one of the brightest young players in all of college football right now. In just four games played in his 2021 campaign as a sophomore, he has 443 rushing yards, averaging 8 yards per carry, 3 touchdowns on the ground, and 1 touchdown through the air. He was a former 5-star recruit and a top running back from the 2020 recruiting class, but how did he end up at a school like TCU, who never had a 5-star once before they got Zach Evans? And this is a guy that was getting offers from everywhere in the country, some of the top schools in the nation, and this was a school that nobody expected him to go to. This is B. Kelly, back again with another banger video. In today's video, y'all, I am going to be talking about one of the craziest stories in college football recruiting, the Zach Evans story. Now, before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button, and subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 10k. Now let's get into it. Zach Evans coming out of high school was a very, very hyped up recruit. According to the 24-7 sports composite rankings, he ranked as a 5-star recruit in the class of 2020, the 16th best player, the number 2 running back, and the number 1 player in the state of Texas. There were even some that said he was the most talented running back to ever come out of the state of Texas since Adrian Peterson. The only other player that he was ranked behind in his position when it was all said and done, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, is current Texas starting running back B. John Robinson, who is one of the best running backs in all of college football right now. As a junior at North Shore High School, Zach Evans rushed for over 1,700 yards and 29 touchdowns, and according to the ESPN Junior 300 rankings, he was seen as the number one player in that class. Right after his junior year concluded, and he was going into his senior year that summer, he would release a top five that had Alabama, Georgia, LSU, Ohio State, and Oklahoma in it. Despite releasing the top five, Zach Evans would still visit other schools that were not in his top five, especially in-state schools such as Texas A&M. Things would get interesting on Zach Evans' recruitment trail, as on June 7, 2019, one of his teammates at North Shore offensive tackle Damian George would end up committing to Alabama. And a week before that, Zach Evans told 24-7 Sports that he and George are a package deal. To put the cherry on top of that, Zach Evans actually visited Alabama earlier that week before his teammate that he was a so-called package deal with committed to Alabama. This gave Alabama a lot of steam on his recruiting trail, but ultimately, nothing would really ever come of it. He would end up taking more visits throughout that summer going into his senior season. Then it was officially time for his senior season to start off at North Shore. Evans would have a good senior campaign at North Shore throughout the season, but it was filled with controversy and drama. A lot of drama would start off early in the year after they lost to KD High School in the season opener. After that first game, Zach Evans would miss the next two games for North Shore due to disciplinary reasons, as their coaches said. Their coaches also said they were working with him through some things. Around this time as well, people thought Zach Evans was going to make a commitment to a school to continue his football career after high school as he made a tweet saying, I've decided. But if you know the Zach Evans story, you know nothing would ever come of this either. Throughout his senior year, he would have a good season at North Shore as in every game he was playing in, he put up very good numbers and he seemed almost unstoppable and was a key factor for a lot of North Shore's success. 
Not only that, he would continue to take a lot of visits to a lot of different schools throughout the season. On December 1st, 2020, Zach Evans announced that he would be announcing his commitment to a school on December 4th and even released a new top list that included Alabama, Georgia, LSU, and Texas A&M. He would end up not announcing anything on December 4th as the day before on December 3rd, he announced a change of plans as he would now be announcing his commitment live at the Under Armour All-American Game on January 2nd of 2021. It is also worth noting that Zach Evans was trying to graduate high school early so he could be an early enrollee and be a part of spring football wherever he decided to go to. With that being said, he would actually miss the first half of the semifinal game versus Lake Travis because he was taking an ACT. But when he came back, he had a dominant performance as on 16 carries, he had two touchdowns for 176 yards in a 49 to 38 win to help North Shore go to the state championship game for back to back seasons. The stage was set for the state championship game between North Shore and Duncanville. Now this was a very hyped up game as people were really looking forward to seeing these two great teams battle it out for the state trophy. But a player that a lot of people were looking forward to see play was Zach Evans. But the thing is, Zach Evans would never play in this game. Zach Evans would miss the state championship game for his senior season because he violated the team rules. And this was his second disciplinary measure of the season. So his coaches thought it would be best if he did not play in the state title game, effectively ending his high school career. Fast forward a little bit later and Zach Evans has let the Under Armour All-American game know that he has officially signed his letter of intent during the early signing period and that he was going to announce it live on January 2nd. But he would end up not being able to announce where he was going as a lot of things were really unknown at the time as there were changes in his plan and he would not end up being able to announce his decision live of where he was going to go. He issued an apology saying, first and foremost, I just want to apologize to my college coaches for everything that's going on and what they're hearing. I am really a good kid. I came in and I learned from some former professionals how to overcome adversity. I made some stupid decisions and I'm ready to compete at the next level. In a little under a week from when Zach Evans was supposed to announce where he was going at the Under Armour All-American game, the spring semester started at Georgia and it was put out that Georgia released Evans from his letter of intent. In the spring of his senior year, he would end up taking visits to Ole Miss and Tennessee, and he was supposed to take his final official visit at Florida on March 20th. But he would never be able to actually go on that visit as the NCAA suspended in-person recruiting on March 13th, 2020 because of the pandemic. And just like that, nobody knew where Zach Evans was going to go at all. Nobody knew what his next move was going to be. He couldn't go on any of the visits. And despite hinting that he was going to commit soon, nobody knew what was actually going on with Zach Evans or where he was going to go. If you want to know how unknown it was of where he was going, if you go to 24-7 Sports and go to his player profile, you'll see crystal ball predictions and you'll see that 12% of the people thought he was going to go to Texas A&M, 16% thought he was going to go to Florida, 20% to Georgia, but 51.5% of the people who put in crystal balls had no idea where he was going to go. They put in undecided crystal balls for where he was going to go as nobody actually knew at all. And it is very rare to see at all to see people put in undecided crystal balls for anybody. Fast forward to May 11th, 2020. It was announced that Zach Evans enrolled at TCU. And this surprised a lot of people as nobody really thought he was going to end up at TCU as TCU was a school 
that he was really hardly at all affiliated with during his recruiting process. Yes, he had an offer, but they weren't really involved like that in his recruiting, and nobody saw him going there at all. And he would end up being their highest rated recruit ever in school history. In the present day, Zach Evans is currently the starting running back for TCU. And he's off to a very strong start for his sophomore campaign in 2021. As in four games played, he has 443 rushing yards, averaging almost 8 yards per carry, 3 touchdowns on the ground, and 1 touchdown through the air. In his career so far as a Horn Frog, he has 858 total rushing yards, averaging 7.7 .7 yards per carry, 7 touchdowns on the ground, and 1 touchdown through the air. He's been showing a lot of potential so far in his start of his career in college football and you can definitely expect him to be one of the top running backs in the nation very soon well guys if you guys have made it this far in the video remember to smash that like button turn on them post notifications and subscribe for more videos be kelly out <laughs>